What's up guys and welcome back to F1 2020. It is the final countdown, baby. We've only got two races left here in this first season of Cooper Motors. And uh, this week we are gonna be taking on the Brazilian Grand Prix. So uh, let's see if we can just keep on chugging, keep on, you know, doing our thing. We wanna to try to maximize the amount of money that we make over the course of the next couple races. We wanna make sure that we're hitting all of our sponsor requirements and stuff like that. Speaking of that, when I first logged in, we did have uh, expired contracts of our sponsors. So we ended up signing a couple of new ones. We've got Lugna Lugna here, achieve the fastest lap in any session. That's the same thing as our Sudo sponsorship that we've had for a while. I mean, we usually get to do that in FP1 since we're the only one that runs the quali sim there. And uh, it, it's it's good money. I mean, you guys can see there, we're, we're gonna make a lot of money from these two. So that's pretty exciting. I also went back to going with Zanetto here. So. You guys know one of our sponsors before was paying us for answering four questions throughout a weekend. This one pays us for answering two questions. It's got a slightly smaller goal bonus for, for hitting it, but it's got a significantly larger weekly payout. So overall, it's gonna end up paying us more even if we hit it every every time, you know what I mean? So I just, I figured that was uh, kind of a, a good change there. You guys can see we did place some new logos around and uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look bad. I like it. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited to see what happens here. Let's take a look at our activities before we head to the Grand Prix. So we've got nine days we're going to fill up. Power department focus, nah. Sim training, nah. Chassis team building, probably not. Sponsor advertisement, let's get some team acclaim. We're going to get some more team acclaim. And then we've got a, uh, a funded team event here. I mean, we aren't even going to need that. We're not doing any any research or anything. We, we could just save our money. If we did this, actually, though, this isn't bad. If we did this, it's going to get us some resource points. Why not? Now, in terms of R&D, I actually, I don't think I'm going to do anything here. So you guys know, we've got some development changes at the end of this season. We've saved all the parts we had developed so far. I'm not sure how it works. Like, Aero and Chassis were the two departments that were affected. If we were to go into Aero here and develop this part, are we gonna have to develop it and then change it over again? I'm not sure. I don't really wanna waste a ton of resource points in that sense. And the fact that we're so close to the end of the season, we're gonna go on a big spending spree. We're gonna get paid out like 30 plus million dollars and we're gonna upgrade Aero. We're gonna upgrade chassis and everything else. And we're gonna have lower failure percentages, quicker turnaround times, that sort of thing. So, you know, I, I say we take our 1300 points. We'll probably get another, you know, 2000, 2500 or so. Uh, and let's just save that over throughout this year into the next year. I think it's going to be kind of a good idea. So uh, apart from that, I think that's that's all I've got to update you guys with. Let's just go ahead and advance the timeline here. I'm going to see you guys once we get to the Brazilian Grand Prix. Should be a good one. This is just such a such a crazy track, dude. Kind of reminds me of, of Japan a little bit. Just it's it's so windy and there's so much verticality and crazy corners while going uphill and downhill and peaks and valleys and all kinds of craziness. This I mean it'd be a, a fun track to race on, that's for sure. But uh, man, is it challenging. Whew. Definitely a, a hard one to overtake on as well. And I would I would think like mainly just this this straight here, which is kind of crazy. Lots of action to be had through here, but uh, it's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to the challenge. We'll see if we can step up to the plate. Looks That's like we had all but one. You obviously have a really good understanding of this circuit. All but one perfect corner on this practice program, so feeling pretty good. You know, as long as this quality doesn't end up like yesterday, then I'm I'm good with it. I'm going to consider that a win. Hopefully, we can uh, can keep this thing on the track, out of the walls, and. Uh, We'll, we'll see what we could do. Dude, Ham is already going ham up there. Oh, we actually caught up to him a bit, though. Okay, we'll take it. I just love this track. It's so swoopy. I mean, it's it's difficult. There's no doubt about that, but it's it's just, it's a, it's a very, very fun circuit. Are we really in P1 right now? By a, a decent margin, too. Ooh, kind of got a little bit on the outside there, Trev. Break, 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 break. Went a little bit hard there. Woo. All right. So we, we could have done better through there, but we're in P7 currently, which isn't isn't bad. I'll take this. Just hang on to it, Trev. This is a fun little corner here. Just keep it pinned all the way through. Break. And then it's going to be a mad sprint to the finish. 
Have a good exit, got a little bit wide. Dipped our tires into the grass, but it looks like we're gonna be back where we love to be. This P7 spot has kind of, kind of been ours throughout this season, dude. We've been starting in P7 a lot. We need to like inscribe our name on the, the seventh grid spot or something like that. I feel like we're P7 almost every other race, but we'll take it. It's better than P20, that's for sure. So uh, feeling pretty solid three. about that. Let's review our top three today. Gonna have Seb next to us, so we'll, we'll see what we can work out there. And uh, Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Now it's time to make some extra money, baby. It's to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Uh, it's always a relief to see your hard work pay off. Interesting result today. Would you say that you're happy with your performance? Absolutely. What? <laughs> you're complimenting me on... anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? I'm going to say it's our power unit. It's a beast. Shout out Mercedes. Appreciate your time. She complimented how well we did, and then she asked if we were happy with how we did. That was kind of a weird question. But yeah, dude, that was pretty solid. Uh, Rivalry is going well, as you guys can see. That 1800 to claim on the line is, is definitely going to be good, definitely going to be going to us. Uh, I'm really excited to see how that <clears throat> works out. Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's into Lagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's the an BGP, unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. Absolutely. It's time to be taking people fight. over in those long straights and just trying to manage what we can when we're in the, the curves. Okay, there's a good chance you can finish in a point scoring position today. Good luck. I'm going to try my best, man. We'll see what happens. So uh, in terms of the forecast, it does look like it's going to stay dry, which is good. Uh, we've got 18 laps around this bad boy. Lap 9 is set to be our pit lap. Let's see if we can adjust it all. Probably not going to be worth adjusting, so let's let's just go ahead and stick with that. In terms of fuel, looks like they're loading us up with an extra 2.1 laps of fuel. That actually sounds pretty good to me, so I, I think we're all good to go. Here we go. It's going to be a... Uh, Gonna be a, a hard a hard charge for that first left hand corner. Let's see see if we can make some magic happen. Really don't want to go running into anyone, but that was actually a, a very good start right there. Let me go ahead and take our overtake and rich mix off. Actually, we should probably keep it on. I forgot there was a second straight here. I'm gonna fall in line behind Charles. He's gonna try to defend that inside. Can we go around the outside on him? Nope, not gonna work. All right, so we went from P7 to P5. That's actually not bad at all. Definitely gonna have to be more careful through here. This is the section where we uh, lost our, our time and qualities. So if we can find Let's keep it up. If we can find a little bit of extra speed through here, we're gonna be in, in good shape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get on it, overtake mode, rich mix, come on. What up, Charles? What up, Charles, around the outside? Oh, got him. Coming for Albon, too. Albon, what you doing up here in P P3, bro? That's my P3. Gonna try to take him on the inside. Ooh yes, sir. All right, that's... You made it look easy. That's some racing, boys. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna go overtake mode. We're gonna take take Rich Mix. Why did they fall back so much? Did we, did we cut off... Dude, hold on. Did we cut him off? I want to go back to the replay. Okay, so I'm not sure. You guys you guys will have to let me know here. We're going to play this back in slow-mo. This is from Albon's perspective. I mean, I just don't know what he was doing. Like, we did kind of come into his... Like, we, we were taking our racing line. We kind of came across into him here. And he, he broke really hard. But it... it we... We were all, let me play at real speed. We were already kind of past him. I, I don't I don't think he had the right of way there. He had to break really hard and then that slowed up everyone behind him. I Dude, that's tough. I honestly I, I don't I don't know what the call is. You guys will have to let me know down, down in the comments. I'm not trying to be a dirty driver. 
I probably could have left a little bit more room and stayed more to the outside rather than going straight to that apex. We, di ah, we did kind of cut around in front of him, but we were also like, look, look, right here, we're in front of him. He, he doesn't have, that, that corner's not his. Our, our rear wheel is in front of his wing. Like, we, we have very clearly, like, this, this was kind of a straight here. We had clearly had more speed than him, and we were just trying to take the corner, and I, I don't know. It could go either way. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this, this is always, oh gosh, it always makes me so nervous when I have to unpause it in a corner. That wasn't a very bad one, but sometimes, sometimes they can be pretty bad. So here we go. We're looking, we're looking pretty solid. Nicely done on that corner there. Didn't, uh, didn't have any wobbliness or anything like that. I think we just, honestly, I mean, it's, it's our trademark slogan. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I think our best bet's going to be to kind of maybe go a little bit slower through these sections. And just make sure we stick to the line and, and okay, stick to our plan. Good. You can use overtake to get past. Sounds good to me. I'm just going to save it until we get to this straight over here. All right. Overtake with the rich mix. About 1.3 in front of Albon. About 1.5 behind Hamilton here. Catching up. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Woo! Here we go, baby. Come on. Overtake mode, rich mix. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Try to catch him, try to catch him. 1.2 behind. I'm trying to get in that DRS zone, boy. Break here. Accelerate out of it. Went a little bit wide, but that's fine. Use the whole track to your advantage. I'm going to try to overtake a bit more. We're using a lot of our ERS at this point. Take off the, the rich mix and let's, let's go smooth through here. Woo! Dude, I'm... I'm feeling fast today. I don't know why the car feels so good today. Coming off of a straight stinker in the last episode, and now we're out here looking like we've got the speed to contend with Hamilton. Sector best of the race in sector one, personal best sector two right here. That's what you love to see. We're going to go rich mix with overtake mode. We're going to burn everything we got in this tank. Come on, baby. New lap, gonna be able to use a little bit more, take it off. That's what I'm talking about. Come through here, getting a little bit wide by there, but that's fine. Overtake mode, we're gonna burn through all of our ERS, but I'm, I mean, we're in DRS zone. All right, sweet. Looking, looking spicy to me right now. I don't know why we're so, am I? I mean, I haven't changed the difficulty. Am I just better at this track than I thought? I think a big part of our success here is going to be attributed to, to how just how long the straight is, honestly, now that I think about it. Like, our car has always been one of the best cars on the circuit when it comes to, to straight line speed. And having this flat-out section around these two baby corners, and then you have the other long straight a couple of turns into the, the lap, I think that's just making a, a huge difference for us. Woo! Hamilton gets around Verstappen. I'm in the hunt as well. Oh, we're passing him here. We're passing him here. We're passing him. We're pa okay. We. I overcorrected and. Whew. Nice move. Good job. No. Stay on the inside here, Trev. Okay, let's go, dude. Oh, that was such a long battle. We, I messed up coming out from behind Verstappen there, hundred percent. Like it, it was, it was not smooth, and we got some speed wobbles, and I overcorrected the other way, and it was just, it was, it was an ugly attempt at a pass on that straight. It should have been a clean pass. However, we followed it up with a pretty nice segment around that that turn. Uh, let's go, baby. All right, we got to stick with it, though. Back up to Rich Mix here. About five laps in to an 18-lap race here. Looks like we were a little bit outside of DRS zone for that last straight back there, but we should have it this time, depending on where the detection point was. Maybe not. Yep, we did get it. Okay, that's good. We have no ERS left, but I'm gonna stay on the rich mix. We just gotta stay consistent here, dude. We, we gotta try to stay super, super smooth. 
Ham the thing is, is Hamilton's a robot. So like my last lap was kind of a little bit sloppy and just look, look at how he's taking off on us now. Homeboy is, is, is not gonna make mistakes like we will. The fact that we're in P2 right now is ridiculous. I honestly think our best bet, I mean, of course I'm gonna use Rich Mix. Ooh. I'm gonna use Rich Mix on these straights through here. I, I, I mean, we've been, we've been blowing through our ERS. Like we can, we can use a little bit just to try to keep ahead, but I'm thinking we might wanna try to save some and try to, try to bank up more for, for later on in the race. I just, ooh, 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 we're good. I just, I don't, I don't know if, we're not going to be able to keep up with Hamilton, even if we had unlimited ERS, so I don't know if throwing the whole freaking chicken dinner at him is going to be a good idea. Yeah, Hamilton's starting to take off a bit here, we are starting to save up our ERS, I mean, we can, we can use little, little dabs of it here and there, like, just to kind of get us up to extra speed to be able to carry throughout the, uh, throughout the straight, but I just, I don't, I don't want to end up blowing our whole load on it because it, it, there's no way. I mean, he's 1.7 ahead of us here. Verstappen is starting to kind of catch up a little bit. Okay, you're dropping a few tenths per lap to the car ahead. They're edging away. Yep, it's Lewis Hamilton, Jeff. Um, that's typically what he he tends to do. Homie doesn't even need four tires to win a race anymore. So I I, I just I don't I don't think I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up with him. But if we can contend for possibly a podium, if not, I mean, I'd be happy with the top five. That would be pretty sick. We know we typically gain a little bit of time on our, our pit stops. Our pit crew is amazing. They always do a fantastic yeah, well, job. Expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Yep, I can, I can feel it starting to fall away a bit. Basically, I'm, I mean, oh, we, we've got a little extra ERS now. Let's, let's go ahead and use it through here. Don't go too wide, Trev. But let's let's try to keep it in, in decent areas. I, I I don't I don't want it to drop down to the, the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Below 10% or anything again. Ooh, really took that one wide. We did not break as hard as I thought we were going to. Really, we're using rich mix through that that top start finish straight. Max is thinking about making a move here. This is not good. And then we use rich mix through here. Around this corner. You kind of accelerate here. You go into this this straight here, and then this is this is where I kind of take it off a little bit. I feel like this is our weakest corner. I don't think we need to break as hard as we do into that corner. So we had a, a very very good start here, but I f I feel like slowly and methodically, Lance is just sucking the energy out of us and and evolving into or not. Did I say Lance? Who's Lance? <laughs> I meant Max. Max is slowly sucking our energy and evolving into Super Max, bro. He's he's about to go off. I can feel it. You're losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. I'm aware, dude. I'm in a Hamilton Verstappen sandwich. It's not not where I want to be. We're also burning through a lot of our, our extra fuel. We might want to stop going to Rich. Dude, I, now we're down to 11% ERS. To it, Try to hang with these big dudes is just, it's really stressful. I am fairly proud of myself because we are keeping up with Lewis. He's still only 1.9 seconds ahead of us. Like we, we, we've been racing hard here. We, we've been racing well. Looks like Lewis went into the pits. We're gonna lead a lap, boys. We're gonna box this lap, push hard on the in lap. All right, look at this. I should have taken one of the, you know, we got new sponsors. There are sponsors you get for like leading. If you lead like three laps or four laps, they pay you a ton of money. We should just take that sponsor and then never pit. Seems like a, a solid game plan, right? Nick is coming in for his stomp. Usually they prioritize us into the pits over Nick. I'm surprised they, they brought him in first today, but that's all right. I ain't mad at it. So did they want me coming in this lap? I forget what they said and I'm not really sure. Yep, looks like they want me coming in. We gotta be careful not to speed here. Whew. Okay, assist came on, we're good to go. Oh man, let's see what we can do. So it looks like Max stayed out, Charles behind us uh, did end up coming in. This is kind of a long pit lane here. Let's see what we can get. Come on, give me under two, give me under two. 1.9! No way. 
up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Bro, this is an insane pit exit. What is happening here? Oh, it puts us out of this. Dude, we're, we're going to be right next to Hamilton. Go, go, go. Shoot. It's not going to work out. Has just moved into first place. That's fine. All right, what, what tire or what thing are we at? We're, we're good. We're on standard. Let's see what we can do here, dude. And we're going to have Lewis to, to kind of kind of follow here. It's going to be kind of nice. We can, like, try to try to maybe keep up with him. Dude, our, our pit stop our pit stop game is strong. We really owe, we owe our team a lot. There is no doubt about that. We might actually be able to get a, I mean... If we wanted to throw, if we wanted to throw some, some, some beans at it here, we're going to be able to get around him. ERS overtake mode. Got a slipstream going. And DRS when he doesn't have it. Woo. That's what I'm talking about right there. Verstappen still hasn't pit. Oh no, he did. He did. He's over on our left here. We're going to come out of this thing up there in first place. We got to hold it for five laps. If we can hold it for five laps, where are we at on ERS? We're at 60%. We're going to have to... Ah, oh, dude. This is just... It's, it's going to be... It's going to be really tough. It would be insane if we won this. I, I would lose my mind. We just got to try to... Try to save as much fuel as we can and really just kind of... Give it everything we have in the straights. And obviously if we can chain together some decent segments through here and lose as, as little time as possible, that's going to be nice. Five laps of fuel left. That was our PB middle sector right there, Trev. All right, we, we just, I mean, we got to do it. We saved up to 67%. I just, I, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, dude. He's, he's going to have DRS and stuff. Use a little bit more overtake mode here. All right. The teammate behind is 28.6 seconds. We're going to be fine. Bit of a slow section through there, but got to do what we got to do. Come on. Rich mix plus 0.48 laps. Not really a lot to go around. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. We're fine. I'm just doing it in the little straights here. Just try to... Try to keep Lewis at bay. Maybe we should wait to enable our ERS till we're like up to the top of the hill. Would that help a bit? I would imagine that probably helps. Because the, the overtake mode is nice for getting us up to speed quicker. And then we can take it off and we can just kind of carry that speed once we're up there. So like use it here when we're coming down the hill, coming around the corner, get that extra speed. Then we can disable it. And we still get to carry that speed throughout the, uh, throughout the straight rather than running on it the whole time. Obviously, we'd go faster if we ran on it the whole time, but uh, we'd use a heck of a lot more of it. Whew. That glare from the sun there is pretty gnarly. I can't, can't see the guideline, almost can't even see the track. Come on, baby. Oh, he's close. Dude, he's, he's gonna end up passing us, I just know it. So yeah, like I'm thinking, Come around here, come up this hill, because that burns through it really quickly. Once we get to the top of the hill, which is pretty much after this corner, now we can put on rich mix and, and overtake mode. Be able to carry that through here. Dude, he is hunting. He's like a shark. He smells the blood. Be able to come through here, come down this hill. Come around through here, get back on it, overtake, rich mix. Do it for a little bit, be able to get up to speed. Turn them off, save them. Three laps of fuel remaining. Do a little bit more through here. Just try to try to keep that speed. Woo! We have an extra quarter of a lap and two and a half laps to go. We actually are saving our ERS pretty well. I would imagine Lewis is probably going to get very, very aggressive towards the end of the race. So I'm trying to hold out for that as much as we can. Ooh. PB middle sector, sector two right there. Here we go. All right, same thing, same thing. Let's just try to hold him out. He's 0.7 from us. Oh, dude, he's making me nervous. 
Gotta try to save it as much as we can here, Trev. Go through there. All right. Back on it. Just for a little bit. We're down to 35% ERS. All right. I'm going to take it off. We're going to try to play it safe. We might. We might be able to do this. We might actually be able to be able to make this happen. Had a red middle sector right there. Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. That that might have opened the door. I mean, he's still 0.6 behind. That could have opened the door for him. Who knows? Come on, baby. Using our ERS, using our rich mix. Final lap, final, lap final lap here. Just have to defend him out for two more straights. This is huge through here. We have an extra 0.13 laps of fuel. And that is burning quickly. All right, take it off. Save it, save it, save it. We really need to save it for the end here, I think. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Push, push. Push, push. He's not going to be able to get around us here. So it's basically, I mean, we just, we need to have the best middle sector that we can have through here. Make sure he doesn't get around us. Try to put as much space in between us and him as we possibly can. Which he is just right on our, right on our tail. I can't believe this actually happened, dude. This is, this is outrageous. I don't know if it was our strategy or, or why this worked out. I don't know what happened to Max. He was hanging in there and now Charles got around him. Here we go. Good exit, good exit, good exit. Nicely done. We're going to get to the top of this hill and we are going to give it everything we've got. Give it everything you got, Trev. Oh my gosh. Nice work. That's we, P1. Race win. Well done. We almost ran out of fuel on that straight. <laughs> Could you imagine if we ran out of fuel and just coasted to the finish line? Oh. We, we had like 0.03. A great race then. Very much as we've come to expect. Kilograms of fuel left. Win here at Cooper right. Motors with the victory in Cooper Brazil. Let's go, baby. For what can only be described as a fantastic day for I think we got to make our uniform, our, our, not uniforms, our, our racing suit black or gray. I think it's time. We'll, we'll switch it up at the end of the season. I like the white, but I don't know if I love the white. Dude, there is no way. I can't believe it. Second to last race of the season, and we pulled that rabbit out of the hat. That track was just really well suited for us. There's no doubt about that. I mean, the super long straights, we just, a lot of cars can't keep up with us. And uh, that was awesome, man. That was that was really, really good. So we ended up on top, of course. Lewis and Charles rounded out the, uh, the podium positions. Valtteri, Max, Alex Albon, Danny Rick, Carlos Sainz, Pierre Gasly, and Sebastian Vettel are all also in the points. If we go on over to standings, you guys will see we are still solidly in P6 in the Drivers Championship. Looks like that's not going to change. One more race isn't going to make a difference. Um, that's that's pretty much where we're going to end up. Constructor standings, we are in P4. Again, that's that's not going to change. We're, we're going to be stuck there. So uh, I think Mercedes actually officially uh, guaranteed themselves mathematically the the constructors championship here so congrats to them on that and uh, i think that's a wrap in terms of uh, we should probably check where our teammate ended up where'd you end up nick 19th yeah you've got one race left buddy and you're gone so hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna see you guys in our next episode for the season finale could it be the end of this series are we only gonna do one season i don't know yet Amazing it's gonna be interesting out there I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Oh, I'm very happy with that. How are you feeling after that win? Uh, it feels amazing the engine was made for tracks like this. That is exactly You really cut what your happened. way through the field today. What was your strategy? Uh, I'm going to say it was foot to the floor, if you want me to be honest. We had a Things pretty... Are looking up after last week, aren't they? We had a pretty good performance in, our, in that sector, too, though. I'm, I'm going to be, like... Towards the end, we started falling apart, but at the start, especially when we were on those soft tires, the first, like, five or six laps, we were we were doing pretty well in there. Uh, I'm going to say things are looking up. Um, uh, aero package, I guess. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Your it's the end of the season, lady. With how you're performing. Can't get complacent. Complacent. Complacent? Complacent. Appreciate your time. Thanks to you. So, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all later. See you tomorrow for the finale.